Aaron the Dating Advice Girl here with the fabulous Sean. He's amazing. He's a dating coach. He works with Mystery. You guys know Mystery. I've been talking about him for a long time. He's I just really fascinated by what he does. And Sean here is fabulous because he brings a lot of the other like interpersonal skills and things that we might not expect to be talked about with dating. You know, the fact that pickup artistry it does have kind of a negative connotation mm. in many ways, but what I've witnessed is you guys teaching so much more than that. What are you trying to get these guys to get in terms of dating and the process? Firstly, it's, it's opening their eyes mm -hmm. to the very fact what they think is dating norms of how to speak to women is totally different from what they think. Yeah. Their process is all about approaching a girl or maybe the fear of approaching a girl. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, they struggle then with what to say. They're interested in what they can say. Right. It's the attitudes behind what's being said right. that gets conveyed through what they say. And it's those attitudes and their way of being and their character that needs to come through. The great thing for a woman, rightly or wrongly, and she knows it. She is judged primarily on her beauty. That's mm -hmm. why she spends a lot of time and she has the skills. Probably right. from the age of nine years old, practicing the techniques of how to put lipstick on, yes. women's makeup. Yes. And if you looked at the arsenal of her attraction model, in terms of the amount of shoes and clothing that she has, mm -hmm. interestingly that she shares and discusses with her friends that guys don't do. Yes. You couldn't talk about 300, 400 pieces of attraction material. Right. She's done her bit, she's dressed up, she's primed. Now guys, step up and do your job. Come and approach us. And do you know what the guy has in his arsenal? What do you do? Where do you come from? What's your name? Right. It's the thing they're cool, like, hey, do you, do you know any good clubs in the area? Right. And that's it. They don't talk about it. They don't practice it. They don't put anything into it. Mm -hmm. I heard you say earlier, like, you want to be different and you want to stand mm. out, you know? We want somebody to approach us that, you know, isn't saying the same thing everyone else is saying to us, you know? Yeah. It's really great. And without the cheesy lines as well. Yeah. And that's the same thing. Sometimes the guy can be, you mentioned yourself, there's some good looking guys in there. Absolutely, you know? they, yeah. Some have got great jobs, they're in good money, they're driven, they've got interesting lives. Yeah. Then they walk up and they say exactly the same as the other guy that, remember, she's just maybe rejected five. A woman has had a lot of practice in the space of five years as a beautiful woman. Right. In terms of rejecting guys. Yeah. It's so natural. And she has, she's done it for good reason. Mm -hmm. So the guy comes up and says the same thing as the last guy. He may be the right guy, but by default, she's already rejecting. Absolutely. And it's important that she has the skill to do that. Guys get all bitchy about it. What yes, he doesn't understand. <laughs> what he no doesn't sulking. What he doesn't understand, though, is the fact that she lets a guy in who maybe is going to linger, be a bit needy, be a bit creepy. They can't get rid of her whole friends. Inter conversation is interrupted. Mm. They may have to move bars or go to the drink at the top just to get rid of that one guy. Absolutely. So she's kind of very sensitive, you know, yeah. to not spoiling the, the group. Yeah. And the guys will come in and be a little bit serious. Even worse, they'll approach maybe the, the target, the girl yeah. they're interested in, and then isolate all the friends. Right. And even worse, if the two girls, and you see it, it's sad. The girl, it is sad. maybe the one who's not so pretty, sitting on the side and. Yeah. While her friends getting chatted up. I know. It's so crazy. I mean, it, it's so good that you tell, you've told all these guys to engage the group because mm. that's the way in, you know? And I think it was really good when you were talking about also including if there are men in the group, like don't avoid the group because there's men involved mm. in the group. Engage them as well. I thought it was really that's, great. And, that, and that's key as well because what you'll find is a lot of the times you will assume the guys are with those girls, but they're not. They're going out, maybe they're taking the girls out. Yeah. They've been hanging around those girls as friends for years. Maybe they hope they'd get a chance. It's not happening. Right. Oh, I but, have tons of guy friends. Yeah. This is me. You're describing and, me. <laughs> so those guys, their only opportunity to kind of look like the cool guy is when some other needy guy comes in and he's like, he gets to step on. He'd be, he'd be the alpha right. Neanderthal male and, right. he, and he thinks that's attractive. And that's what he'll do. He will clock block literally yeah, the guy yeah but what better way than to be a social artist and have other girls with you and introduce people and just you know he's getting a bit of value he'll give you access to talk to his girls they feel safe because you've got girls it's not as simple as one guy approaching one girl it's great it's all think about even beyond when you meet a girl let's say you get into the relationship yeah does that mean that pick up artistry 
just stops. Right. Well, the whole concept that I, I think of from the social artist is that the skills I'm grooming maybe is something I found fascinating in Cosmopolitan on the plane on the way here. That was fascinating. Yeah. But the ability to relay that and talk in a group to appeal to a female kind of enough detail guys, thank you, and the guys mm -hmm. and captivate that audience. Right. When I'm with my girlfriend, mm -hmm. does that mean I can't speak anymore because you right. know, I'm in a relationship? So, and it's I'm sure she appreciates it. Right. That I, her friends will say, he's a cool guy. He's stimulating. The guy's like that. Right. So you're being the flame. Right. Let's say beyond the club. You're at a wedding with your family. Yeah. You know, you're stimulating. All you do is provoking thought, thoughtful, interesting conversation. That's, That's intriguing. Right.